Your father, you need to do what's right for I'm your son. I'm under arrest for murder. Jake deserves better. He's better off with them, Sonny. Better off with them? You'd rather your son grow up living a lie? Doesn't seem fair that I get to go spend a gorgeous summer afternoon in the park with my boys. I'm not like being locked up inside. Hey, the point is to enjoy yourself, not feel guilty about it. I'm not sure I can. It's a bit the luck of your family. Yeah? So what? You're a great father. You proved that with Michael. I mean, you took care of him for a year. You can't just give Jake up I just like that. It's a complicated situation. No, it is simple. You have a child. No one has the right to take that child away from you. said she would always be afraid if the baby was with me. And you know what? She's right. Because I can't say with complete confidence that violence will never touch this kid. I know you. You'll do everything in your power to make there sure that... There is no... Is there a guarantee? There is no guarantees. You've seen that with Michael. I don't, I don't want my child in constant danger. I don't want my child's mother living in constant fear. I've thought about this every hour of every day since she told me. I want the best possible life for my son. And the only way to do that is to give him up. Sometimes I can't believe how everything worked out. I mean, we're married, we have two beautiful, healthy little boys. How do we get to be so blessed? And when I look at Jake, I, I think of how easily he could have died in the Metro Corps or when he was born and how how absolutely empty my entire life would be without him. Jake is fine, Elizabeth. I know, I know, and, and that is that is exactly why I went to go see Jason, because Jake is fine, and he's loved, and he's happy, and he fills up both of our lives, and Jason had so much to do with that. And I know it compromises you when I go to see him. Rick practically just rubbed it in my face that I was making you look bad, and yes, maybe, maybe I should have left the station, but I just... I wanted to do something for Jason. I wanted to thank him somehow. I mean, he's locked up in a cell ready to go to prison. And his so-called best friends, Sonny and Carly and his TV star girlfriend, they're nowhere to be found. But even, even if they were, Jake is alive. Because of Jason, I can't ignore that. And now I'm gonna go sit at the park and I'm gonna go enjoy my, my children while Jason's locked up in a cell. It just makes me sad that he might never get a chance to take his own boys to the park. And it makes me sad that someone who has given me so much winds up with nothing. Elizabeth. Sorry. No, just forget about it, okay? Uh, you don't have to apologize. It's just hormones. Oh my god, I cried at a cereal commercial this morning because the baby looked like Jake. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. I'm just gonna finish what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go pick up the boys. I'm gonna go to the park and then I'll be home later tonight, okay? Okay. I'm really sorry if this thing with Jason caused trouble for you at the station. No, you know what? Just forget about it. shared custody. It's work for me and Carly. Carly isn't afraid of how you live. She's not afraid of the uncertainty. Elizabeth can't handle that. Well, that's her problem, not yours. Lucky, you know, he's a decent guy. I got nothing against him. But why should Jake be his child instead of yours? You're only doing this because Elizabeth asked you to. Of course, I want my son with me. But it's not about me at this point. Sonny, I'm handling this the best way I know how to handle it. What about Sam? You say she knows about Jake. Are you willing to stay with her so she'll keep the secret? Okay, you know what? All I'm saying is I'm not sure Sam is the person you think she is. Excuse me, aren't you Jason Morgan's attorney? Mayor Floyd. What inspires such a personal interest in my client? Well, I understand you requested another bail hearing. 
You know, as mayor of this city, it's my first responsibility to see that the citizens are protected, uh -huh. and I don't yes. believe Save that... Save the speeches. I'm warning you right now, don't politicize this case, or you'll regret it. I have good news. You may be out of here by tonight. Uh, he's growing fast. Oh, never fear. Um, the jackal will respect the blonde one's brother and, you know, keep my distance from the innocent one. Spinelli, it's okay. Like, he just overreacted. And he's a little concerned at how interested you are in our son, but it's okay. Uh, your, your baby is a, is a most amazing creature. Thank you. You can come over. Yeah, it's okay. He's not going to bite. Hey. Oh, wow, he's so tiny and, and perfect. Hey, look, look at how he like, watches everything. Hi, buddy. He loves the park, doesn't he? He does. <clears throat> he finds everything here so interesting. The other day, there was a little boy here with a big red balloon. Oh. He couldn't. He wouldn't take his eyes off of this balloon. I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Did your wheel fall off? Let me help you. Salutations, little innocent one. Jackal comes in peace. Have no fear. Like, check out my face. Like, it's a happy face. It's a friendly face. <laughs> you, you can hold him if you want. Really? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Then maybe you can help him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now. Come here. Um, I, you may want to reconsider. This is not really All right, the Jackal's area him. of expertise. Put him in the crook of your arm. Yes, just go. like that. Hey, buddy. Got him? Hey. Wow. <laughs> He did want to be held. Uh, oh, oh, you're a natural, oh. Spinelli. You think so? Uh, hey, Spinelli. Hey. Hi. Wow, if Jason could only see you now. <laughs> <laughs>